Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today, we're going to be doing a list of the top 5 military vehicles in GTA Online. Uh, so this list is basically just going to be any vehicle that basically has a machine gun on it or is armored or, you know, anything like that. Anyways, so let's get right into it. So guys, at number 5, I have the Half Track. Uh, this vehicle is pretty well armored. Uh, the glass on the front windows and the side windows, I believe, is completely bulletproof. Um, so if you were sitting inside there and I shot with the heavy sniper, it's not going to kill you. Pretty much if you're inside this thing, the only way to actually kill you is to blow up the entire vehicle. Uh, so as well as that, it's got pretty good off-road capabilities because of the track, uh, which is very useful. Uh, obviously, a lot of the time when you have an armored vehicle, or a military vehicle, you're actually driving it off the road. So that definitely comes in handy. Um, you can also hook up the AA trailer to the back of this thing, if you have it, and uh, you felt the need to, so you can do that. It is also equipped with the, uh, the flat cannon on the top of it, uh, which does some pretty good damage to other vehicles. It's, I mean, it's nothing, nothing like the Kanjali or anything like that, but, uh, you know, for what it is, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good vehicle. And if you're looking for something safe to drive around in by yourself, uh, this would be a pretty good choice for you, I would say. So anyway, guys, uh, let's move into number four. Okay, so guys, at number four, I have the Insurgent, uh, the regular Insurgent, not the pickup. Um, the reason I have this thing at number four, I would usually have it higher, but I think as far as a military vehicle goes, this thing doesn't really have any offensive capabilities um, other than just you and your friends being inside it and throwing sticky bombs or shooting out of it which you know is pretty good but compared to something like uh, like the Kanjali for example or even the pickup custom um, its offensive capabilities are, are pretty weak and uh, it can only take four RPGs before it blows up so uh, it definitely could be a lot better uh, I love the Insurgent, with that being said, it's it's like my favorite military vehicle in the game, so kind of hard for me to rank it at number four, but that's just sort of where I feel like it should go, so. Uh, yeah, so like I said, there's nothing special. You can't put a proximity mine dropper on it or anything like that. Um, all you got is basically the vehicle itself, which, you know, is a pretty, you know, powerful vehicle, but uh, yeah, nothing too special, so. Anyway guys, let's move into number three. Okay guys, so at number three, I have the Kanjali. Uh, the reason this is ranked at number three is because it's got pretty good armor. Uh, it obviously has the driver controlled main cannon, which is uh, pretty devastating. It's pretty good. Um, I really like it, honestly. And uh, the other reason is because it also has the secondary person's uh, machine gun there as you can see and the other two people who can drive the thing or who can be in the thing uh, get the grenade launchers that are mounted on the sides and uh, I think this thing is a very very powerful like offensive vehicle um, not super great on the defense end but um, I think its offense makes up for its lack of defense uh, I think it can only take about four or five rockets I could be wrong it could be less it could be a little more um, but definitely it is pretty uh, susceptible to being killed by uh, oppressors, obviously. Um, they're probably like the main threat in this game, honestly. So that is its one weak point. But uh, I still felt like it was more, more capable than the insurgent. So that's why it's at number three. So uh, anyway, guys, let's move into number two. All right, guys. So at number two, I have the Night Shark. Uh, the reason this thing is at number two is, first of all, because of the front-mounted machine guns, uh, which are controlled by the driver. Uh, these things are pretty good. There's definitely better machine guns out there. Obviously, they're nothing compared to the, uh, the Hydra's cannons or anything like that. They're just a basic machine gun. But uh, for what they are, they're pretty effective, I would say. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the second reason that this thing is at number two is because of the armor. Uh, this thing has so much armor that one oppressor cannot kill it. Uh, if you were getting griefed or, um, you know, just attacked by an oppressor, they would have to 
like despawn their oppressor and respawn it in to be able to kill this thing uh one oppressor can in no way kill this thing unless like you're already like way damaged um but uh, i i think it's a very very good defensive vehicle um you definitely have quite an opportunity to run away from oppressors uh with this and uh yeah you don't really have to stress about getting killed by anything honestly so uh, I think it's it's really good for that reason, and uh, another reason that I have it at number two is because of how fast it is. Uh, this is probably the fastest armored vehicle in the entire game. Um, I'd say without a doubt, actually. Uh, it's faster than the Insurgent by quite a bit, and it has the same amount of armor as the Insurgent Pickup Custom. So, yeah, the Night Shark is a very powerful vehicle, so uh, I would definitely recommend picking one of these up if you don't have one already, so... Anyway, with that being said, let's move into number one. All right, guys, so at number one, I have the Insurgent Pickup Custom. I'm sure many of you saw this coming, but um, I think it's a pretty general consensus that a lot of people think this is probably the best military vehicle in the game. Uh, if it's not, then, well, I definitely think it is. Um, the reason I think this is because it has as much no uh, armor as the Night Shark, uh, you can put the heavy armor plating on the thing as long as you have it unlocked in the bunker uh, Which minimizes how much you can be shot in the side windows and the front too uh, Obviously, there's a bigger gap in the insurgents windows than there is in the night shark So the night shark definitely has that advantage um, But the night shark does not have the 50 cal turret that you can mount on the top of it Nor does the night shark have the proximity mine dropper that you can have on the back of the insurgent uh, which you can't really see there. Oh, there it is. Um, which is a very, very useful thing. Uh, if you're getting chased on the ground by someone, you can just drop proximity mines behind you and eventually they will get hit. Um, which is a very, very useful tool. Um, the Insurgent is a better off-roader than the Night Shark. That's for sure. It's a bit slower. Um, it, it definitely doesn't have Night Shark uh, speed, but... I think uh, I think what it lacks in speed is made up for in you know armor and the cannon on the top and the proximity mine dropper and its off-road capability. Um, I just think the Insurgent Pickup Custom is like the overall best vehicle uh, that you can get in the game for um, you know defense and offense. It's uh, it's pretty powerful to have, that's for sure. So anyway, guys, I uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of my list. Let me know if you think I missed any vehicles. Uh, I might make a part two to this depending on if I can find enough military vehicles to actually make that list. But um, anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, dislike. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Base.